interesting that the station is still fairly operational. But it was good to see. Yeah, that's it. So that was a nice visit to Cookhouse. Now we're hitting the road through to Patterson and uh, so far it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tar road all the way, unfortunately no gravel, but it's a scenic route, eh? but crazy busy with these big trucks. This is Olifant's Cop Pass. Nice one! Where is that the truck? I hope so. Wow, look at that. Just excuse the wind noise. Oh, beautiful, yeah. Eh? Stunning. This is the one time I don't mind being held up by a truck when I'm going through a place like this. True. Check that over there. Oh. Whoa, that is gorgeous. Quite a strong wind blowing here. Yeah? yeah, I can feel it. It's a bit stronger than our car. How stunning is this view from the Olifant's Cop Pass at the top here? Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that's artificial, right? Yes. Oh, As you've come over the past, this past it's overcast this yes. side. Yeah. And chillier. Colder, you yeah. Feel it? Yep. I never even knew about the Willifon School Pass either. Huh? I think there in the distance is Patterson. I'm hoping that this is where we turn into Patterson. I haven't seen anything say this is Patterson. Okay, so I've just filled up with Petro. Uh, we must have missed the sign because we just confirmed that this is Patterson. So, let's see what Patterson has to offer. Children, oh there, well the post office confirmed it. Oh yeah, Patterson. Patterson post office, okay. Patterson with one T? Yep. Okay. Could it be any smaller? <laughs> From a distance it looked so big. I think it's the silos. It's spread out, oh, okay. The silos might have made it look a lot bigger. I don't know, we've just arrived. Maybe we, we don't know exactly what, how big it is and what yes. it all entails. And this is the police station. Major station. 
these are massive silos, eh? Well, I think I'm out. I'm turning around. What do you think those were? Like kiosks, one point to sell things like curios and stuff, I would imagine. Yeah. Most likely, but they're not functional anymore. No. Okay. No, they're not. Here's a church. I was wondering where's the steeple. Yeah, we <laughs> saw no steeple. Oh, it's a different looking church. But I time. like it. Yeah. It's got a ginormous bell. Look at the bell enormous, tower. Yes. Love that. Wow. I like it. I like the fact that it's not so tall. It's a completely new design for us. And that the bell is still there is also a miracle. <laughs> and look at the how big the bell is. Yeah. Wonderful. I love it. Yes. Let's see if we can see a sign. Yep. It's a pretty church, eh? I like it. It's very neat. Yeah. It's a bright house. I like the bright houses. How's this house? Totally abandoned. That's a cute house. I wonder what it is. Is it a business or is it a... I have no idea. Just look at how tall that tree is inside that building. Yeah, so it's been like that this must for a give while. us an idea of how long this has been. Yeah. I don't want to put a number on it, but like 10 years? No, longer. Okay. I would have thought at least at that least, long. At least, yeah, at least. And... Um, it's the secondary school. Yeah. At the back there is also one that's been completely destroyed. Yeah. Probably before they fenced it in. Fenced it in. You see, the computer lab was made possible with the support from Sand Parks. Okay, that's nice. I would imagine because a lot of residents here work there. Check this road. They even drive next to the roads because oh, of all that's the potholes because of all the potholes. They I actually drive on the walkway. Yes. Interesting, I didn't realize that. This is Kirkwood Street. This must have been an old shop. Okay, it is still open. Oh, there's still stock inside. Wow. What a pretty church this is, eh? Very neat. I wonder how they get to keep it so neat with such a low wall they are. around. Amazing. Oh, so this is the old apostolic church. I asked if I could go in, but they said they can't let me in if they don't, can't, they don't have the authorization to let me in. So, unfortunately I can't show you the inside of the church. It's good that it's been cleaned and stuff, so... It still looks good though, eh? So he said it's the what church? Old Apostolic Church. Oh, I thought I heard him say that. Uh, old 
station. Look at that. Wonder if this road will get me down there. Um, it might, or maybe a little further. Further down, down yes. This station still functioning because there's a train. And a vehicle. There's definitely a train here. Look yes. At that. Fantastic. Train's and moving. it's moving. <laughs> Patterson Station. Check the train. It's carrying. That's well, probably all that manganese again. <laughs> Thank you. After chasing the train, are we chasing the station? <laughs> it reminds me of that one there by Bot River. Yeah, eh? it does. All the old buildings are in tatters again. There was a moving train through here two minutes ago. I'm happy. Yeah. And the train is still moving. <laughs> I think the cattle have all crossed. Yeah. They're walking through town now. Amazing to think that this station used to be called the Sand Flat Station. And then later it was changed to the Patterson Station. But we don't know why. It was called Sand Flats. No. To begin with. To begin with, no. Yeah, um, the station used to be the Sand Flat Station, but the village was laid out in 1879 at the Sand Flat Railway Station. And uh, because there were like four generations of Pattersons serving in the railway, uh, this new town was named after John Patterson. Uh, who was a member of parliament and also founder of the Eastern Province Herald. So that's when the name was changed after him. Yeah, and those four generations of Pattersons, Pattersons had 180 cumulative years of railway service. That's crazy. <laughs> no wonder they named the town after, after them. After them, yeah, that's fantastic. This seems to be a newly built house. It does. this old corrugated iron house. Oh, the whole house is made of those shoes. Yes, yes. Oh, this is the sa corrugated house's garage. Yeah, now. isn't it too cute? That is so cute, eh? Love it. And nog a double carport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love that corrugated house. <laughs> I love the garage. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we chatted to the gentleman there who was um, mowing the lawn. Yes. And he said what keeps Patterson alive is the livestock feed businesses. Yeah. Two companies. Two companies, yeah. And that's what those silos are for. Yeah. And he's worked for one of the companies for 40 years already. And he says he'll never leave Patterson. He'll never leave. He says, where shall you go? Cute. Another corrugated one that they've just fixed up. Cute. Yeah. It's got a lot of potential in my book. <laughs> Look at this one. Yeah, wow, this is a big one, eh? Yeah, I see. So that was another little town that we've come to visit in the Eastern Cape, Patterson, which I think needs some help. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't have said it better. Um, not sure what kind of help, but yeah. a lot of help. It was nice seeing you, Patterson. <laughs>